Welcome back to part two of the D&D hey. show. Um, everyone had a good break. We were just chatting beforehand. So I think we've already done all that. Everyone's all good. Uh, glad to see there's still people in there in the old chat. Um, quick catch up for uh, anyone listening. We've uh, arrived at Thunder Tree looking for this Druid read off. You've seen some little weird twiggy things. You've investigated a derelict pub and fought some zombies. And that's about it. Um <laughs> I have added Droop onto the map so you can control him now. And in the oh. break, we also rolled dice for hit points on the short break. And that's about it. Um, hello, Waffles Maple Syrup in the chat. Waffle Maple Syrup is a, another uh, D&D podcast group um, that I chat to a lot on the old Twitter. So thanks for joining us, guys. We hello. really appreciate hello. it. Um, hey. Hopefully you stick around and you enjoy what you see. Um, let's get crack a lacking because time is a t- ticket and I don't really want to be up to midnight again tonight. So that's <laughs> so how we go. Um, <clears throat> right. So uh, we were just saying uh, what you're talking, guys, we're just talking about what you're going to do next. So go for it. Yeah. Why? Well, I, uh, should we uh, head the or the back? <laughs> uh, we came in the back, so I think it's only fair we go out the front. Um, can we, should we head out the front uh, and head into... Yeah, you can... Um, you can open up that front door. It does take again another beating, but I mean, we get every day it. you'll get through it. I'll beat off on the door, and then uh... <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll open it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> with me, with me gauntlet, I ain't touching that shit. Um, yeah. Shall we? Shall we head f- further along the path? That... I'd say we go yeah down the path. Yeah. yeah. Can yeah. we? Can I look for those little twig blights specifically? Any more of those? Let me think. So, uh, well, yeah, roll me a perception. You see if you can see any more of these twiggy blights. Yeah, I'll them. So, as you're walking down here, Millicent, you're still kind of up by that building. But as you start walking down here, you can see a twig blight or two, if I can work out how to do more than one thing at a time. Hiding hiding in, in, in all the thickets and undergrowth, there's loads of f- stuff down there that they're, they're hiding. And they're not really hiding. They're not deliberately hiding. They're just in the bushes getting up to bushy twig blight stuff. <laughs> did they, yeah. Yeah, so when we saw these these ones and the ones before, did they acknowledge they saw us? The first ones would look like they were curious as to what you were doing, and then when they saw saw you noticing them, kind of ran back into oh, the bushes. Right. These ones um, uh, haven't quite yet spotted you, but you've just seen them. Yeah. Okay. As soon as I'm it seems, old, I would like to yeah. light a torch just in my hand. Pardon, sorry? If I am able to light a torch from my adventurer's pack, <clears throat> to have it burning. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. <coughs> absolutely. Um, you can do that. One lit torch in your hand. You. It seems that, you know, unless unless attacked or provoked they don't really seem to well my concern is that they're reporting back arguments they're, they're, they're trapping oh, aren't they they're yeah. trapping creatures mm. so from what you said Pock, about all your deep knowledge of lore about <laughs> these creatures yeah. oh, oh yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah so you know <laughs> it, it comes of knowledge that uh, somewhat <laughs> quite it's forgetful so, it's it seems... so much up there that sometimes some of it falls out yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think the things that I picked up on that are they really dry, so fire might be a good but I don't have any mm. like magical to attack with no, in no, that respect. No. And um that they are minion type creatures. They might be reporting to I mean this is the hearsay, but they might be reporting yeah, yeah. to largest. It's worth keeping an eye on their movements. Um, I'm we... gonna catch up with the group because I don't want to be left out. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can I just have a scan for tracks, see if uh, I can, if, if there's any sort of uh, particularly trodden paths? I presume there's been no one around for a while, so I'm hoping mm-hmm. Radoff's tracks may still be. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. roll, uh, roll uh, uh, a perception. That is a 16 plus 3, 19. 19, lovely. Okay, so no, you don't really um, mm. notice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> excellent, roll, excellent. No, you don't. Yeah, I mean, knowing that you've, you know that there's these twig blights around there, you know the little, and mm. actually, yeah, you do like, because it has been raining and there are some like mud, the, the grass here is more muddy that you can see that sort of tracks of them floating around near the bushes, they like, running across the path and stuff like that. Um, you do um, potentially roll me, roll me a survive. 
and uh, nature. Uh, another nineteen. Fucking hell. Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So you definitely say there's there's the twig blight tracks all over the place. Not much of anything else in the vicinity of where um, you are. And uh, there is. Um, oh, sorry. Twenty one. Yeah, 21 I'm, I'm okay yeah if that changes so yeah it. there is a set of tracks that are small um similar size some kind of rodent um type creature potentially a squirrel this little little squirrel mm. Mm. this squirrel is well, this uh radar, this radar squirrel is familiar. it i wonder if this squirrel is made of mm. nice or a familiar or a familiar mm-hmm. Yeah, he might be familiar with Radolf. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, I don't know if there's anything I can do as a druid to... Uh, can, uh, we can we shout, can we shout, shout out his name? Radolf! 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 Yeah. Radolf. Yeah. Radolf. <laughs> yeah, <that's pretty laughs> right, like a minute. Do you? Like, Radolf! Yeah. Fuck it. I wonder if anyone's tried this yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, you start crawling for for, for read off. Absolutely. Okay. You do that. Seventeen zombies appear. <laughs> Can I explain? The squirrel tracks. Do they particularly go? Uh, are they just scattered tracks, or do they go anywhere? Um, they head seem to be following the track that you're on, heading down south. Okay. okay. I'd like to. Uh, I'd sort of follow those as Carry much as path. as we can, and yeah. What? Screaming our land off. Screaming off. Fucking hell. Uh, is this a good idea? <laughs> Don't worry, no, we've, we've got funny. a goblin shield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where are we going to yeah. Send him up. Jupe's like, <laughs> what the Jupe's like oh, I'm good at I'm good at tracking. Are you wanting to find okay, I could track him for you. Yeah. Mr. Go- sir, if you yeah. want me to. All oh, right, sh- then. Yeah. Go on then, yeah. son. Yes, right. Okay. Through, okay. Okay, so you point out these squirrel tracks, and he goes, "Ah, right, yeah, 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 have to do. Whoa, a tasty squirrel. We are eating a lot of these. Yeah, we are definitely going to hunt this for you. I could even make you like a little trap if you want. No, we can snare it up. No, we can, we're not could you roast this it? One. Stick a poker up its no. bum, and we can just spin it on there. Oh, Shut uh, up! Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Dude, knock him out no. again. True. <laughs> and I'd just slap him around the face like half gently, oh. just give him a slap. <laughs> And then pat okay. him on the head and stroke his cheek. Uh, okay. Mixed so. signals from uh, so what, <laughs> what, what, Yeah, I'm like a Roman to him. What do you want him to do? Do you want him to scout off and come back or just lead like uh, some kind of sniffing dog? Droop. I think, yeah, sniff Droop. a dog, Have, 20 foot yeah. ahead. So, yeah, Droop, sniff a dog, 20 foot okay. ahead. <laughs> right. So he starts Maybe going we, down we should here. treat him a little bit better, but you know. <laughs> He's saying we. Yeah, well, so he yeah, gets down. I mean, yeah. Okay, me. He then. starts going down there, and he's like, "All oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah." All oh, right, and he's like, "This," and he's pointing, like, and he's all like, "Like, this, good boy, this way, good this boy, oh, like that." Amazing. I mean, there's definitely Everybody. some Stockholm syndrome happening because <laughs> he's not complaining. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. I feel really bad now. You I think we've taken yeah. this to a dark place. All those shoes are like <laughs> Nike ones or whatever they're called. So, have you given him his shoes back yet? I mean, he proved himself. He killed one of those ghouls. You know, he could have taken that opportunity to run away or to. Would it have just you know, been better if Millicent had just shot him in the back? Really? <laughs> oh, poor Drew. No, I didn't say that out loud, did I? Sorry, Drew. Um, uh, okay, what did he want? What you want? And he's like, this, this, this way. It's, 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 shh, this way. Hello, Don't scare him off now. All right. Squirrels. Oh, oh they're probably... fine. We'll follow, we'll follow uh, little goblin. Cool. Fella. Stop where you are. Oh. Yay. Everybody. Roll. Roll. Heads up to... No. Initiative. Initiative. Oh. We're the, the perception. In the, in the Twelve. Eight. Fucking five. It's my Scanlan dice as well. That's, yeah, that's, that's a, a lot of Oh, yeah. The 20 on it is like musical notes. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. It's purple or black, but. Nice. Fucking roll shit. So don't mad, is it? <laughs> 18. Jesus Christ. I think you're going to need your. Uh, What's we call it? Yeah, yeah. fuck us. No, and, uh, I don't know. But maybe we shouldn't have walked into the middle of town shouting in Radoff. <laughs> yeah, I kind of felt that was a bad move, but I, I didn't That's want to it. stay yeah, in time. Yeah, Droop. Uh, yeah, Droop. What did you do that for? <laughs> last time. I slapped Droop again. Nurse, you've got a, a no, I don't. I don't. I've got this idea that 
droops a little bit like Manuel from Forty Towers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come along. A little bit. I can't talk about Forty Towers, and that been. Oh, that's no. all. oh yeah. I was watching it oh. today just because. Yeah. I like it. It's been yeah. taken off of UK Play or something like that. To, like yeah. the brick box, wasn't it? Yeah. Like I think nonsense. it's back on there, isn't it? A bunch of people that think they're doing the right thing that ain't really doing the right yeah. thing. They're, they're, and they're trying. Good, good, good as, as prescription. Absolutely of it. trying. Yeah, trying, and I get it. Getting it wrong, yeah. I completely get this it. This is kind of I, the whole I, thing. It's always been like this. Is where it is a, I think, I, even on a Stuart, a Stuart Lee thing, he said something about political correctness being a kind of very awkward movement towards something better and it's always going to yeah. be like that really yeah well put yeah i think it's a good the... thing it just is a bit rough <laughs> yeah yeah it's, it's, it's... it's be rough edges isn't it mm. yeah the... well this is a conversation we could have going i mean yeah, 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 yeah let's do three hours yeah so let's let's, let's, let's just not get into it the... I, they're, <laughs> they're trying and they're trying to do well and their hearts are in the right places but there are certain things that i think uh, yeah, we just need to leave alone. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. That, that's uh, more doing D. D. People should do from, that. Um, from a, a a, a acting and a script, uh, you know, uh, can't think of the word. Uh, perspective. Perspective. Yeah, that's the one. Um, it, you know, half the time the it's been misinterpreted that it's it's laughing at the characters and it's saying this is how fucking stupid people are saying yeah, these yeah. things. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. Most yeah. of and what that's Little what... Britain did was that. It was laughing at... Yeah, it was like, taking the piece out. Actual, we've yeah, caricaturised these yeah, people. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and, uh, stereotypes, um, which I are silly. Hung, I should probably be absolutely <laughs> hung up for it because I can't remember the bloody guy's name here from 40 Towers. Um, well, John Manuel. Cleese. John, Cleese. John Cleese. Cleese, thank you. And that's what he said. He's like, you know, we were never, we were never making fun of... The Germans, or or, or oh, he was the never... joke. He was, yeah, the... it was, it was, it was... They were making fun out of a war veteran. The character yeah. was the ignorant one. It's laughing exactly. at the character. That's where the joke yeah. was, yeah. But uh, then again, at the that... same time, you know what? If it's causing an issue, fine, just get rid of it. Like, it's, Which is, again, <laughs> you know, like... again. Yeah, you know my... what? I, as long as I can watch it when I want to, just let everyone yeah. else do what they want to do. Look, yeah. Yeah. Sure he's me. an inspiring actor, and he can't be in a new. He can't. You need. We need new shows, not old ones. Come on. This is it. Yeah. Get rid of it. Can't yeah. Audition. <laughs> yeah. I know. I right, like, yeah. Let's crack on. So initiative, right? Okay. So basically, as you walk down there, shouting radar, <laughs> and then troops run ahead, like ah, down here, down here, zombies. oh yeah, the squibber, oh, like these twig, these these things have have kind of uh, smelt yeah, oh, um, grind some bollocks and come out from the bushes, basically. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's the twig thing. I thought. Yeah. It was- Zombies, uh, nah, it's it's twiglets. Yeah, they're fine. Twiglets, <laughs> if only. Let's turn into a fire elemental. <laughs> Done. Let's go. Boom! Right there. This one is going to charge out, and there's somebody right there, Millicent. So he's going to attack us. There we go. What kind of attacks they do? Let's have a look at his stat box now. A twig blight. It's a big old fucking box in it. Uh, claws. So they d- no art. Like they don't have any weapons or anything. They little twig monsters. They run out and claw at you. <laughs> Oh, that's a good roll. Uh, so uh, that would be a dirty 20. Okay. Which I'm assuming is going to hit. Yes. For three points of damage, as it of piercing damage, as it claws at you. Um, okay. Ravenous. They're hungry. They haven't eaten in a while. <laughs> have we given Drupal a weapon yet? Uh, yeah, you tell me, knife, have you? He? he had a yeah, shank. No, he, yeah. he, he made a shank, yeah, last time. Uh, Bo, it's your go. <sighs> Right, I guess I'm going to do some myself some attacking, aren't I? So I okay, shall me. move up to this. Is this guy in a in a building? Yeah. So basically, um, it's a the description of these buildings are it's ramshackle cottage. The walls are falling down, debris everywhere. So um, let me just find it. They're ruined side by side cottages. Look as though they might have been the homes of prosperous shopkeepers or well of farmers in their time. All that remains are collapsed walls and piles of debris. So yeah, so some of it where you can see is like because it's all set up for you. So yeah. if you can't see through it, it's a solid wall. If you can see through it, then it's all debris and stuff. So I can attack through there. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Right. Okay, attacking with your sword, your rapier. Yeah, with my rapier. 
And that's oh great, a two plus a five. This is seven. Seven is a miss, I'm afraid. Damn. Yeah, so you uh, you're, you're kind of stabbing him through that. Did you want to use my snake um, attack? Well, um, you have to hit first. I have to for hit that. first. You mean yeah. you're, uh, you've got two, you got your two weapon fighting. Are you using rapier oh, yeah. and dagger together? I will use my. Can I use my short sword? Um, yeah, you can use a short sword and a rapier together. Yes, you can. Yeah. So I've got to roll to hit again. Yeah. Uh, Sixteen plus five. Yeah. That will hit. So you hit him with the second attack. So on this one, you'll do one d six. One d six. You don't get to add on your extra modifiers. One d six. One. One point of damage, mm, yeah. but you do get to add on your sneak attack damage because you have the um, swashbuckler feet. Is it fancy footwork or rakish or dacity? One of those, which means that you basically now get to get your sneak attack if you're the only person in range. So you, yeah, you, so you I can roll with two d six again. That's uh, nine. Nine in tail. You kill this twig bite. Boom. Boom. Next up is this. Go away. Is this one which uh, technically I've already moved, and that one went from medicine because um, I forgot to put one in order. Uh, that one's just been killed. So escapes. You're up. Okay. Um, I would like to um, do a movement of just five foot to there. Then yeah. can I do a bonus action of hunter's mark? Yes. Okay, I'm going to do that because there's loads of them, so I might as well get this party started. Um, and then strike him. Strike him in, in, in twain. Oh, only a seven. That's a miss, I'm afraid, that mm. one. Yeah, so you missed that one. Okay, but he's marked anyway, isn't he? But he's marked, okay. So this one gets to... So he just gets to run out. Beep. Right. Millicent, you're up. Well, I would like to try and do DM. Mm-hmm. Is take one step to the side, yep, and use the torch that I had lit previously as an improvised weapon. Yeah, call it a club. <laughs> uh, excellent. I'm not proficient with clubs, but that's fine. I'll just roll without my proficiency bonus. Are you not proficient with like is basic melee weapons? A, yeah, simple. Is a club simple? I haven't checked. Yeah, clubs are simple weapons. I will check for you now in the players' handbook. Oh, thank you. Unless you've got it up, it might be quicker. I haven't. Simple weapons, cl- yeah, it's a club is a simple weapon, does a d4 damage anyway. Great. Um, I would, up to the DM's discretion, if this hits, like to just hold the club there until the end of the six seconds in order to try and have them catch light. But that's obviously up to your discretion. And what I will we'll allow, because you've lit the torch, um, is you could use it, yeah, it's a, um, I'll allow it to do like some some fire damage instead of the normal bludgeoning damage okay cool basically that, that, that okay. do. so just roll to hit first and see see what you do i rolled 15 on the dice what would that uh, will hit oh okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> three okay lovely so and like i said you're hitting it with the club so what we'll say is that um if we say half of it is bludgeoning and then half of it is fire so if we basically say two of it is we'll round it down so two of it is bludgeoning and one one point fire Mm -hmm. um okay however uh, as pox masterful 20 something nature roll earlier on and he got it knows these things are they don't like fire and they're quite weak against fire um, so that one point of da- fire damage turns into two points of fire damage. Yay. And he goes up into flames as he dies. Cool. And uh, if he had vocal cords, he would emit a scream, but he's <laughs> unable to speak. But the twigs, the burnings, crackling, he goes up really quickly. It's really dry. It's just like... It's popping marshmallow out. Yeah, and he's like... <laughs> Anything else? Take a second to look at the rest of the party and point at the finger. <laughs> Yeah, I would like to <laughs> award you some inspiration for some clever out of the box things. Nice. Well. Excellent. Thanks. Okay, Pock. Uh, okay, so I've got a cantrip that I'd like to use. Um, mm-hmm. Produce flame, but I can use it yep. as an attack. You can. Um, so yeah. thirty feet. Yep. Uh, from you basically, me. throw it at him like a tennis ball. So yeah. you, just, you uh, roll a ranged spell attack. So on your character sheet, it should give you a modifier. It's probably a plus five or maybe a... Uh, it is a plus five, yeah. Uh, it's an 11, so 16. That will hit. Um, and then it's 
one d eight of damage. Oof. Nah, fucking one. <laughs> no, is that one? No. I, um, does it specify in the spell description that it does do fire damage? Uh, fire damage, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, so they are vulnerable to fire damage, so that does two points of damage. Uh, it doubles up. So which one were you throwing that at, sorry? Uh, sorry, the one next to uh, the one that just died. Uh, so the one in the doorway down there. This one there. So that was a cantrip. So going back to what Lecky McCann was talking about. Yeah. Can yeah. I... That cost me one action. Is that me done? Can I use a spell or... Right. It was an action. So that's the thing is it's, it's an action. Okay. So you would still be able to use a bonus action or a reaction or a movement. Whether or not you can cast another spell is something else entirely. Okay. No. Um, so let's see. Oh. Um, you can't suppose to cast two spells in a round. Even yeah, that's the, spells, that's the thing. Action, the other one's a reaction or a bonus action. You're not supposed to be able to do it. There's exceptions to it, but... There is. Okay. Let's have a look at the quick liberals very quickly. Um, oh, I was well excited about my produced flame, and it fell on okay, its ass. So, <laughs> uh, so spells, bonus action. A spell cast with a bonus action is especially swift. You must use a bonus action on your turn to cast the spell, provided that you haven't already taken a bonus action this turn. You can't cast another spell during the same turn, except for a cantrip with a casting time of one action. So... You've used a cantrip, so you can now use a bonus action spell if the spell can be cast as a bonus in a bonus action. As a bonus, um, so you can't cast a spell that requires a full action. But if the spell description, like Misty Step, yeah. says that you can use uh, as a bonus action, then you can cast that. Um, no, that's that's me done. Then I think. Okay. Um, Droop. Droop. Who's controlling him then, me? Yeah, uh, yeah, well, you, you, I mean, yeah, like uh, you tell me what, what you wanted to do if you wanted to try, you know. I wanted to go here and uh, try and, well, I suppose he ain't gonna, he ain't got no fire stuff. Just go and poke that one. Okay, so you're like just shouting at Jupe, get in yeah, here, Jupe, kill. So you're gonna <laughs> run in there, yes. Okay, get the one that's slightly singed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, he misses. Oh, what a uh, you, <laughs> you, um, Give uh, him a but, So is he still just using that shank that he that he yeah. had? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, so he, he misses anyway. He charges and he's like, ah! <laughs> and then and just kind of stumbles, <laughs> nearly, nearly falls over and uh, misses wildly. Oh, boom. Okay, so this one is going to run oh, up oh, no. from around the corner. Uh, oh, first no. thing he sees is Droop. So he's going to run in, attack Droop, and rolls um, something. Um, Droop, I'm assuming you've kind of left him with all of his equipment and everything yeah. like that. Yeah, he's just, 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 just took his yeah. shoes. So he should. I think his armor class is like 48 or something. <laughs> should um, be fine. I think I've got it here actually. You're so mistaken his uh, armor class for his thick skin. Yeah. So he misses anyway. <laughs> he runs up clawing at Droop, and Droop's still kind of like stumbling all over the place <laughs> trying to fight this other one, and, and he just misses. Uh, next up is this one here. So he's going to move down and attack Burr, <laughs> swinging his yeah. arms at him. He's going to roll a 16 against your armor class, Burr. 15. So he will hit. Yeah. For uh, three points of damage, and then it's your turn. Brush that off. Well, I'm going to uh, hit him back, and I so <laughs> uh, thirteen plus five, yeah, eighteen. Now we're hit. Uh, so, what are you oh. hitting him with exactly? I'm hitting him with my rapier. Yeah, of course. Okay, brilliant. So that is a hit. Okay, so six, and then. All of your sneak attack and My all sneak that stuff. Attack. It's dead. Yeah. Yeah. It's dead. Yeah. It's dead. Yeah. It's dead. Okay. Would you like to do anything else? Would you like to move? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it worth me moving up to this one that's surrounded? Because then you Might get be a, good for to be close together. Yeah. Because then, like, then you get a bonus then, uh, on. The attacks. Also, like you'd be closer to heels and all anything would be better. Yeah, yeah. I've moved there. That's it. 
Okay, brilliant. So I just want to... I do believe, because you've still got your bonus action to make a second attack. Um, so mm. you can still make your second attack with your short sword. Thank you, Duke. I will do that. No, two. That would be a miss. I'm just going to oh, check that in. You'll have advantage because enemy flanking... Uh, that's true, yeah, go on, take advantage, take over three spin. One. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's a miss. That is a miss. That is a Run miss. away! <laughs> I'm going to burn this dice tonight. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that's right. You can you can split your attacks and movements up. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to get some clarification that... on that later because I can't be asked to Look up now. spend ages looking through the thingy here. As I missed anyway. Uh, when you take the attack action attack with a light melee weapon that you're holding in one hand, you can use a bonus action attack with a different light melee weapon you're holding in the other hand. You don't add your ability modifiers damage, yes. Um, I'll look into that later. Yeah. I'm fairly certain you can move and then make another, uh, but we'll come back to it later. Okay, have you got anything else for us? No. Okay, uh, escapes you're up. Okay, um, see this one here? One here. Um, can I go up to it? Mm -hmm. Like that, um, use my bonus action to mark it. Yep. And then fucking nut it. No, uh, it, with my sword, <laughs> like over yes, like an axe, like Arnold Schwarzenegger in yeah. Commando at the beginning of that. Seven. Do I get advantage because he's flanked? Yes, you do because he's flanked on all sides. Have that, you. Ooh, yeah, Ooh, 12, 12 points of slashing damage. Yes. Uh, smash and it's marked. it. Smash. Okay. Is it worth right in the six? Smash to smithereens. Oh, okay. Oh. Absolutely, <laughs> with the mark damage as well. Boosh. Bang. Yeah, you have that, you wooden bastard. <laughs> uh, Millicent. I will move to behind this guy. Oh, fuck. Um... <laughs> I have just noticed something. Oh, shit. You have. Because my line of sight has changed. Um, what, a billion bad guys? Just two bad guys. I can see one from where I am behind the building. Yeah, I can see one. I They're going to be dead soon, it's I don't fine. Know where you are. Put, click on the thing map where you see your one. <laughs> is this that's a bit mad, isn't it? <laughs> that was yeah, it's a bit mad, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's <laughs> I just didn't know what building you meant, sorry. Um, oh, sorry. I'm just going to shout, over there! <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think that building's pretty much collapsed, so... No, oh, okay. oh, there's the other one. I've been... I've lost... Yeah, okay, I found the other one. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> on the back of the one opposite Drew P, and I'm just going to hit him with my improvised weapon once more. 11 to hit. Um, that will be a miss. You can roll again, though, can't you? Because he's flanked. Well, so, um, I mean, he's, Droop isn't attacking that one. Oh, okay. He's you know, attacking his head, so this one's not quite flanked. So. Right, okay. So I've missed, I've watched that one. I've missed that one. Uh, what did you roll, 11? Yeah. Let me check his AC. Yeah, it's a miss. And then, if I can take a second to be like, two more this way. Yep. That's it. <laughs> Pock. Um, I've just scrolled up on my map and realised there's one right near me. Uh, so, I'm going to head uh, five. Um, I'm going to go here. Uh, and then I'm going to use my Produce Flame cantrip to hit this mofo. Okay. Do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I forgot I actually have to Hurrah do it. Hurrah the dice. <laughs> uh, it's a 10 plus 5, 15. That's a hit, sir. Lovely. Oh, that's an 8. Fire damage. 8 points of fire damage. He yeah. just in disintegrates. <laughs> like there's nothing left. It's just like glitchy, just like... And then all that's left is a silhouette of his outline on the floor <laughs> uh, in ash. It's just completely... <laughs> Completely obliterated, and he's gone. Cracking. Uh, it's Droop's turn. I assume that he'll turn around and attack the one behind him. <coughs> yep. Why not? Okay. Mm. All right. Um, I'm, I've been rolling for. Do you want to roll for Droop? I don't mind. No, go on, mate. You do it. That's fair. Yeah. I think it's fair because otherwise I feel like I've got extra and no one else has. It's not fair. You do it, God. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, so he turns around with his makeshift shank and what? misses. Oh, he misses. Oh, well yeah. done. <laughs> 
Oh okay. no, where's Gavin gone? Uh, he's probably just nipped to the loo. That's fine. Okay, so this one down the bottom here runs up and uh, goes to attack Millicent and will roll an eight. So I'm guessing that's a miss. Cool. And then that one there. It's no. He was attacking Droop, so he can attack Droop again. That's a 12. Miss. Which misses. <laughs> and then you're dead. Burr. He's back. Right, it's your turn, just in time. So, um, Millicent, I don't know if you heard it, Millicent shouted that there was some more coming yeah. round the bottom. Coming round the bottom? Who, who are Millicent? Filthy bastards. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, um, I'm going to move round to the bottom, and I will attack. With advantage. Yeah. It's well and truly flanked now. Uh, two. Yeah. And a four. Oh, <laughs> Lovely. No. That's a miss, mate. Do you want to <laughs> take a bonus action to attack? Yeah. With the short sword, Spit you can do it. that. Yeah. <laughs> 20. Nice. Is that a nat? Nat 20. Lovely. Oh, start a bonfire. You're gonna sm- you're gonna destroy it. There's yeah. so you do so much damage. No <laughs> way around it. Yeah, when you're doing 18 damage right off the back with that sneak attack, and then plus what you roll. Yeah. So again, like uh, I don't even know how you want to describe that one dying, but he does. I just yeah, in a pile of sap. Trample on him. Yeah. Smash cool. him back into the ground that he came from. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. That's dead. Okay. Another one runs up to Millicent, but uh, it can't attack because it's not got enough uh, mm. actions to do it. Escapes. Okay. You know, there's some down the bottom. It'd take me 25 to get to there, so I'd like to move to there. Go for it. Hey, yeah, I'll just jump past her. I would like to mark the one in front of me with my bonus and then uh, smash his face in. Do it. <laughs> oh, is it advantage? Is it flanked? That Don't, one's no matter. I've got 25 anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, yeah. long sword. So it's five points of damage oh, on that sorry. one. Yeah, it's already it there. rolls it automatically, does yeah. it? Um, yeah. And then a d6. It's dead. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so it really deflated then. He did that one yeah. point of damage oh, with oh. the uh, extra d6. <laughs> so it's, it's ever so slightly more dead than it was before. <laughs> oh. By one point. Cool. <laughs> Millicent, uh, you've just got that one next to you, mate. I will return and I will try to set it on fire. <laughs> Natural 20. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it just explodes. Yeah, it explodes, <laughs> boom. Yeah. And again, a bonfire. This one's, you know, it didn't quite take the 16 points of fire damage the last one took. But uh, this one makes like you a bit of a squealing do, sound or something. You're going to do a minimum of like five or six points of damage if not more so yeah it goes up in flames and it's just shriveling <laughs> up on the floor oh, it smells quite why? pleasant yeah, yeah quite nice quite nice smell it's a nice Hopefully. smell <laughs> it's a nice smell it's nice, smell. <laughs> it's nice yeah. kind of like when like a fir tree yeah it's kind oh. of nice Sandalwood. Christmassy tree smell. Oh, yeah, sand, yeah. Sandalwood. <laughs> well done okay. really nice simple fight oh, there guys done. lovely Excellent. we destroyed them oh man we so destroyed strong. them all yeah, and Dupes like, ah, 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 it's like oh, I died. I, I, I just I couldn't get it. He just kept missing. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, um, better luck next time. That, but remember Drew. last night. Remember the other night. Yeah, I stabbed that one in the neck. Yeah, Drew, I think next it's time. about time you've earned a weapon. To be honest, after that, yeah. Time. But to be the, fair, the necessities wise, really. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. and, and my shoes? No, not your shoes. Oh. Right. Forget about the shoes for now. You're so obsessed <laughs> with the shoes. Um, no. <laughs> yes, yeah. Like, so, what, what weapon are you good with? What do you like? Uh, I'm, I can use uh, a sword and I can use daggers and I can use bows. Um... I'd like to give you my bow. Do you have a bow? <laughs> um, I don't think so, no. I've got... Um, I'm a bit tired, sorry. I've like, got... Uh, I'll give him the bazooka. <laughs> just, just give him the, the, the grenade launcher that I've got. Have my, yeah. have my sawn off shotgun. Wait, let me see. I might have... I might, I've got some javelins. 
I've got a spare <laughs> scimitar or a quarter staff if you really need it. So yeah, give him a scimitar. scimitar. Yeah. But you yeah, do realise if you stick one of us with this, you are like dead straight away. No, you're not dead straight away. Uh, you're dead slowly. <laughs> oh, oh, we're dead. Nah, yo, my friends. Hey, 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 this is on loan. I want it back. We'll, and then we'll, I just kind okay. of scratch we'll, him behind oh, you. So we'll turn it in a better condition than it is in now. <laughs> Will my old armor fit him at all? Pardon? Will my old armor fit him? What was your old armor? Maybe it's just got kind of like lever on. Yeah, I just did. I think I just, I think you just had lever as well. Yeah, I just did lever. Yeah. Yeah. So he's because you didn't strip him before, so he was already wearing kind of like lever armor. Fair and stuff both as well. in levers, but you didn't strip him. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, before we yeah. go anywhere, I want to just gather up any remnants I can of these little stick creatures, and I want to make those little Blair Witch symbols and just hang them off nearby trees. If that's mm-hmm. all right, with any yeah. leftover twigs. Okay. That's a slight hand, isn't it? <laughs> As you're doing that, Ken, <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> Ken um, everybody roll me a perception. 18. Oh, oh, lovely. Brilliant. Natural I'm these new dice. Oi, oi. Nat 20. No, cool. 18. That's fine. <laughs> no, I, well, it wasn't. It was a 17. But there you go. What's that? Oh, it's that's the squirrel. Like, Squirrel. As an, uh, yeah, it's like, squirrel. Oh. As I thought it was, it was squir- an earthquake. It looked like a crack in the ground. Squirrels and earthquakes, they're really easy to get confused. Uh, right. There's a little squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a run over squirrel. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is a dead squirrel. Did you by any chance be. Google squirrel PNG? <laughs> um, th- yeah, so Roll20 has got like a built in thing you can search for stuff. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely, there's a little Brilliant. squirrel there, um, and he, sn- he kind of scuttles up out of the bushes here, and has a little sniff, and then hey. transforms before your very eyes into this dishevelled, mm. manly-looking guy with beard that's got like. To be honest, of- he looks like the sort of person who leaves people to fight a big, massive battle and then comes after. <laughs> That's all looks like to me. <laughs> Potentially. And this this uh I don't even know where I got this from. I think I might have this token I might have got online when um back originally when Lewis was gonna be playing a ranger, I think it's where I got this from. Oh. So I didn't you this doesn't come with the packet for read off, unfortunately. So read off. Let's have a look. Read off. Um the old druid better talk to him, really. Yeah. So, so it's a gaunt, white bearded human who doesn't well it says yeah, don't worry about that. So that's all it says. That's that is his description. A gaunt, white bearded human. There you go. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> so is he not dressed or nothing? Is it just is that it's it? Just like just uh, butt naked. Oh natural. Yeah. <laughs> Afternoon squirrel bollocks. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, so just thinking of the guy in uh, Monty Python in uh, Life of Brian, you know, the guy in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and he says, Hey, did you see my sign? I uh, left a sign. Did you see my sign? Uh, we did see the sign. Uh, thank you for the for the fair warning. I, I, I believe you must be, be read off. Uh, we've been looking for you. Ah, uh, that I am. But uh, the sign... Clearly states. <laughs> <Yeah. sighs> Monsters. Well, you can clearly see we're uh, equipped to deal with them, so what's your beef, mate? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they anyway. <laughs> Leave it, Gaffy. So leave it first. It's all right, mate. It's all right. Just can't. Oh. <laughs> well, there's it's some, right. uh, some very uh, dangerous things. Um, the zombies. Oh, and it's twig things. Oh, we, we've encountered uh, zombies just outside of uh, the Thunder Tree. Uh, let, let me introduce myself. My, my name's Pock. I'm a, a fellow druid, and uh, I used to live here um, 30 some years ago uh, and, <laughs> and taught at local <laughs> colleges. Um, pleasure to meet you, Radoff. And, uh, uh, a pleasure to meet you too. Uh, a druid, you say? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Puck just disguises a smile. Uh, indeed, yes. Um, uh, we've been said here. We've heard lots of things about you, um, Nilsa and uh, Quillen at uh, Orderly Farm back in oh. Fandalin has told us many things about you and, and told us that this Qu- is where we can find you. Qu- Quillen. 
Oh. Can I just uh, interrupt and go, yes, my name's Rory, by the way. Oh. <laughs> well, hello, Wally. <Wolfie. laughs> I'm going to interrupt. I said, sorry, my, my name's Roger. Uh, yeah. what, Roger? You said his name was Pop. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Whippet? <laughs> well, and Woe's Mary. Um, and Woe's Mary. Woe's Mary, that's a great one. Mary. <laughs> right. uh, very, very pleased to meet you all, but um, <laughs> the, the, the sign clearly stated that there was was monsters uh, and zombies. You think you're big tough guys, do you? Hmm? Uh, n- uh, look, n- not at all. Look, we are. Uh, we we do you come have here. a death wish? No, we look. We we come here looking for you, and uh, we are heading to uh, to uh, Cragmore Castle in search of the Black Spider. We 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 are looking for the Black Spider and Glassstaff, the head of the Red Brands. Uh, we believe that you can help us with this quest, and we've been told many great great things about you actually uh, uh about your quests and, and things you do and we and we hear that you may be looking for the same people and we could possibly help and you can help us and we could all be one big happy family whoa you say... <laughs> that was intense <laughs> intense ending there <laughs> that's uh uh, a lot of information to put on my plates, but <laughs> uh, thanks for the offer. <laughs> but uh, but try and, your uh, sign is fucking great. We love the sign. It's the best thing about this place. The sign. <laughs> it's, it's a fantastic sign. Yeah, definitely. That's Whoever great. came up with the plan of putting that sign right there deserves a pay roll. Pay wise. The, pay <laughs> the pay smartest, <laughs> most bravest warrior, I'm sure, created that mm, sign. Mm. But Listen. do you know the way to Quagmore Castle? I mean, Cragmore Castle. <laughs> <laughs> Quag- sure, I, I can get. I, I can get to Quagmore Castle. Really? I, we, <laughs> we, 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 it's, it's true. Would you be willing to guide us there? <laughs> have you been? Yes, I've been everywhere. Well, have you really I've been? been everywhere, <laughs> man. I've been everywhere. Oh, God, he's a stoner in the woods. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Originally, I was going to go with like a, hey, dude. <laughs> like every druid's got to be a stoner. But after last week when you were talking about, I was like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so are you related to Chris Packham? Chris Packham? <laughs> Chris. Chris. Packham. Chris. Hello, Chris. I, I, I don't I, I know I've met some quizzes but no quiz pack them mm. yes yeah. anyway I know where Quagmore Castle is uh, and I'm glad that you're friends of Quilling she's a good friend of mine how is she she, she says she misses you uh, and, uh, and says uh, if you would hurry back so you can have another evening in the stables and I give him a little wink uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> a, <laughs> he kind of uh, tries to hide a, a faint smile in the corner of his mouth <laughs> um, okay listen I can I know where Quagmore it's a dirty it's a dangerous place it is indeed last time I was there it was overrun with all different types of goblin kind uh Speaking of which, and he kind of looks behind you, and he's like, and then Droop's just like, "Hi, this is Droop." He's like, "I'm Droop," and he's like, "Droop, Droop, Nice to meet you, Droop. And he's like, "Oh, it's raining." Yeah, don't worry um, about Droop. He's not really a goblin. <laughs> not really. A goblin. No. Um, I can get you to. I know where Quagmore Castle is, um, and if it means you leaving this forsaken town I can help you get there um, definitely there's dangerous things here jokes aside I can see that you've managed to take care of these little twig bites uh, um, but there are more hidden everywhere around every turn and they are relatively harmless in small numbers but once they overwhelm you they can be deadly but that's not all there's zombies and yep. not like any zombies that you've probably ever encountered before. These ones are strange. Left over from the eruption of the mountain. Well, puffy zombies. The puffy ones. That's right. Yes, yes. Perhaps I saw you go in the pub, so you uh, maybe you have... Uh, maybe I lied and misspoke. You have already seen, yeah. seen some of them. Okay. There are also giant spiders. Uh, if you head oh. just down, that, down there, you might see... Uh, he points down the road, um, heading towards the east. There <coughs> are all sorts of giant spiders down there. You need to be careful going through there. Um, but maybe the most dangerous 
<laughs> most pressing matter here at the moment. Is you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> is that very recently there has been a green dragon spotted in the area. Dragon. And I believe, though I have not seen him yet, I have found his lair in the old um, whatever mm-hmm. that building was called on top of the hill. And he's, I've been here for a day and a half now. And I've not seen him, so he will be returning, or she will be returning anytime soon. Is that why why you're here? Are you looking to defeat the, the dragon? or Defeat a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is Me? your reason for being in Thunder Tree, Radar? Right off. You're, you're very intuitive, young man. Yes, I am here investigating rumours of a dragon spotted nesting in the area. Um, and yes, I, but uh, the, who are, the full reasons of me being here is, at the moment is not important. What is important is that if you stick around here making as much noise as you have been, then you will bring destruction down on us. Uh, a little squirrel running around will go unnoticed. Four of you boots. I open a Maybe bag not. of crisps. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, having never heard the ba- a bag of crisps before in my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Carry well, on, don't mind me. Off, I look. I, I wish to bring no longer, uh, no further damage to the the town that I grew up in and spent my life working, working in. Um, I but I, I also we- feel that I'd like to, you know, pr- protect protected as much as I, I could and if maybe if we could help you you could help us um i'm sure we're up for a bit of a, a scrap and investigate investigation into a, a green dragon if if maybe you could lend us any I further interject- help in cragmore yes <laughs> I, I personally interject this conversation to say no we're fucking not you really you see, the issue for me is I really want to see two things whilst here in Thunder Tree. One, a dragon, and two, <laughs> a black giant spider. <laughs> was it a black spider, giant spider? It was a, gi- a, a giant, giant spiders, yeah. yeah they, in some of the old buildings, I, there were I giant I would really, spiders. really like to see one of those and oh, a dragon. <laughs> I wish we'd known this about him when we actually picked him up. <laughs> uh, purely for well, Scottish reasons. I don't know about the dragon, but definitely how, the spider. How, how oh, yeah. confident are you that you could see a green dragon and not see you? Because if it sees you, you will be no longer, you won't be able to turn into anything. Is that right? <laughs> okay. Basically, I think we haven't got that long to talk about this. We need to find a, a shelter yeah, to yeah. get away. Yeah. Or, like, you know, because if the dragon comes now, like, obviously, I, I might be able to kill it, but. Who knows? Radon, have you have you got lodgings here? How where how are you surviving? Are you yeah, I've druid been, surviving? Uh, there's a house that uh, just just over there, and he points literally just across the road from where you are, um, which I, I, I I've been staying in. Yeah. It's one of the more still intact buildings, uh, which is was cleared just clear. I've I leave I leave all the buildings alone to be honest I'm not here to really interfere as much uh, so the zombies I stay out <laughs> their way the twig blights I stay out their way too fast for them too quick but uh, yeah that one there that one's, that one's that, pretty cosy is that a good place? sorry go on I, I was just going to say let's at least get off the beaten path if a dragon yeah. flies out be seen yeah. could we possibly uh, just use your quarters uh, just temporarily for a short rest. Sure. Please. Thank you very Please. much. That's a very, very good idea. I was going to suggest it myself. Maybe even a long way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, it depends uh, it depends what the tea's st- like, of course. Can we come in? Not, not. Yeah, just uh, give, <laughs> you can come in. I, I can't move, so. Uh, you're still not moving. Nah. Can you see at least? Yeah, I can see. Oh, that's a bit strange. Just left him it behind. Weird. He's got it's a little bit uh, catatonic of late, hasn't he? Yeah. Can we go in? 
Can we yeah. move our thingies inside? Yeah. Oh, oh, everyone's here already. Excellent. Yeah. So, it's just, so it's an old cottage. Yeah, and a, like I said about the pub, it's just, there's old fur, pieces of furniture like um, dotting around and stuff. And he's he's trying to kind of make it fairly homely. Um, the, you know, um, some, some like a straw mattress bed and chair and tables. It would have been once upon a time somebody's cottage, somebody's home. Let me see if there's anything on it in the actual book, but. Um, We'll see. A uh, small house appears to be in a better condition than the ruined and dilapidated structures nearby. Yeah, and that's it, actually, because then it says the doors are reinforced with heavy iron bands and thick shutters protect the windows, but he's let you in. Basically, it's midnight. So mm. that probably seems like a good place to end it. Mm. Cool. So it, is, is he going to help us, though? Just yeah, we, like do we have a point ahead. I, think, I don't think we want to stick around in Thunder Tree, really, do we? Nah. No, I mean, we ain't got a chance of fighting a dragon, I don't think, at level three. Uh, no, yeah. Nah. Um, if everything's as derelict, we don't, yeah, we don't want to go on the top of the hill. Can we take him with us then? Did he say he's going to come with us? Yeah, I think I'd like to quickly have that discussion as to <laughs> whether he so, can lead us there. He will guide us, yeah. 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 So he basically says, right, um, do you, do you have a map? Do we have one? Uh, um, no. You, you, I think you do. You got one from Halia. You got from Halia Thornton. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. we do then. Uh, cool. So he basically describes to you uh, how where to go. And he draws draws it on your map. And he basically says it's in this area. You know, it's the maps aren't exact, so he could, it's like I can't draw it exactly up with pinpoint accuracy where it is, but it is in this area in the south of the woods and then he describes to you how to find a path it's like if you walk around the woods around this area you'll find a path just you know just keep on searching around and you'll find to be very careful because there are patrolling goblins and hobgoblins specifically out in that area that patrol um be really really super super careful when you go there because it's not just goblins they are led by a brutal hobgoblin they also have um, so a brutal bugbear they've also got um, hobgoblins with them that some I don't know this black spider that you asked about uh, glass stuff means nothing to me but um, I mean glass stuff I, I heard a rumour around Vandalin about him leasing the red brands and presumably you'll tell him that you've defeated the red brands and that you know the Lord's Alliance are, are looking to kind of put in some kind of proper police force in the area but um yeah he doesn't know anything about that but what he says is that um it is strange that the goblin tribes are coming together and working together under a single banner um, and what they're doing so far south from the crags is a bit bizarre um so he tells you how he can how you can get there um your i mean it's afternoon you took an hour's break it's afternoon um you probably want to take another break here so it's probably mid-afternoon now so you know i I would advise you hit the road as as soon as possible um but you're also welcome to stay here until the morning the longer you stay the more likely it is that the dragon may return i'm i need to see it i need to report back on it it's my job Mm. as a member of the emerald enclave to to look into this type of stuff That's the, the Emerald Enclave. Isn't it? Roll um, me a history. <laughs> oh, what was that called, sorry? What was the name of that? Emerald, Emerald Enclave. Enclave. 19. I have not added anything, but 19 on the dice. History. Uh, shit. Plus four. 23. <laughs> Oh, it's going to take eight minutes. There's a brief description here. So, um, oh, it's a widespread group of wilderness survivalists who preserve the natural order while rooting out troublesome threats. The Enclave works to restore and preserve the natural order by keeping the elemental forces of the world in check, preventing civilization and the wilderness from destroying one another, and helping others survive the perils of the wilds. And so, yeah, basically, it's like you said that you're looking for. I'm assuming I don't know how much detail you're going, but you said you're looking for Cragmore. Be careful. Um, the goblin are a threat to the balance in the area and need dealing with. Well, we've got but, a goblin friends. So. And Droop's like a little bit like, no, not that present, one. present company. Other one. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah. Um, 
cracking. Well, cracking stuff. Uh, are we allowed along? I mean, I, I presume that we're sort of setting off once we're rested. That's up, up for you, but we can discuss that off air and yeah. sort yeah. out next week because it is time to call this a day. As yeah. the end, find out more next week on <laughs> the amazing adventures of the D and D show. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Pretty Thank you very much, everybody. Um, all the people in the chat. We've still got ten people at the end. That's been that's Yay. been pretty fantastic. So thank you all for being with us. Um, yeah. Cool. I've, I've been kind of keeping an eye on it, and I think a lot of it again has been talking amongst themselves. So. Uh, oh. If you have any questions, if there's anything in there that you wanted to ask that I didn't pick up on, drop us a line. You can find us on Twitter at um, Show D and D. Nice and easy at showing D and D or me personally at Lukey underscore baby eighty six. If you're listening via podcast, I'm going to do that horrible thing. Please do drop us a review. Or and again, you know, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook at Show D and D. Review us. Tell us. Tell your friends. Tell your mum. Tell your gran. Um, get the word out there because it's cool. Well, last time I looked this morning, we had about I think it was pushing about six hundred and forty downloads. So we've done like a lot. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> that's great. Just, we're getting there. So, um, Lucky Mac, on you're very, very welcome. Um, he says, thanks for a great session. Troy Tempest says, night all. Psycho says, night all. Uh, Luke night. Carew joined late. I saw him earlier on. So, you know, thanks for joining. Good night. Um, you can find us all at various places over on the screen. For those of you listening at home, Lisa, they can find you at? On Twitter at the underscore energy. Sean, they can find you on Instagram at? Sean F. Lee. Gavin, they can find you on Instagram at? Gav Beer and Beards. And James, you can find uh, nowhere. Nowhere. You can't find uh, me. Uh, Campanella the group. In, in my the real darkest, life, I'm a rogue. Darkest corners of Rutherford, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. By the, the 86 bus stop in Rutherford Market. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll see me there in the bins. <laughs> um, but yeah like I said thank you everybody for joining us uh, you all have a lovely night um, and uh, as always keep yourself safe with everything going on wear that mask and you know if you're going out and protesting and rioting fantastic good on you but just just be safe and be careful good night all love you good night bye, bye. The D&D Show would like to thank Sword Coast Soundscapes on YouTube for the music and sound effects used in this recording. Find him on Twitter at Sword Coast Sounds. Also, a massive thank you to Lewis Gale for producing our amazing theme tune. Follow him on Twitter at Lewis SW Gale. Lastly, from all of us here at the D&D Show, thank you for downloading this podcast. You're breathtaking. See you soon.